This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 12, Updating Records, Puzzle 5. Editing Contacts in the Contact App. Now that you're familiar with how Update Record works, it's time to add in functionality to the Contacts apps so you can edit contacts in your database. Woohoo! First, you'll need to do some work in design mode to set up the UI elements you need. Do this. Your code and database from the Contacts app is provided. If you don't have all this, you need to go back and do all the other lessons. <laughs> uh, change the... well, here, let's see. Mighty Mouse! No one! Friend 2. I should really change their names. Hey, I can use Update Record for that. Cool. Um... Change the delete button on your view contact screen to an edit button. Make sure you change the button text and ID to something descriptive. You might also want to change the style of the button. Note, leave the event handler for the old delete button. You'll still use it later. Okay, so update. Ah, I see what they're doing. So let's go to design, edit, edit, and I'll take their idea of doing it more of a blue. Oh, it's really blue. Sure. All right. Add a new screen called edit contact screen. Okay. And contact new screen. Edit contacts screen. Ah, uh, uh, and add UI elements that look similar to the ones in the image. Oh, okay. So basically, our add contact screen. Oh, and we have delete right there, huh? Can we? Oh, I was hoping we could import. Okay. So we're going to have to do the work. All right. I am going to get to work making this. I'll probably speed it up a bit so you don't have to watch me slowly put it together. So keep in mind for the IDs, you'll see that I'm going to change up these IDs, that they can't be exactly the same as the IDs on the Add Contact screen. I also, to figure out the positioning of all my text boxes and all that, I just went to the Add Contact screen several times and looked at, you know, their Y and X positioning for the text boxes and the image thumb. Um, I'm kind of particular. I wanted it to look real good, I guess. Same with the buttons. It was easier to look how they positioned them in the X, Y coordinates, width and height, than figure out my own. So I'm going to speed this up and just keep racing through it. Uh, but this is how I made my edit screen. And I'm excited to make code for it next.
Ta-da! Oh, that was too complicated. Uh, I need this to match. So it's it. We need to make sure so we can use the old code for the delete button that it matches the same ID, or we could update the ID, but context. delete button. That makes sense, and that's probably what I would assign it anyways. Okay, and then what did I call this? I'm just going to say image. Edit. All right. And then for these, uh, for each of their IDs, I just put edit in front of them because it won't let you use duplicate IDs. So I think we are good to go here. That was a lot. Ta-da! Mighty Mouse. <laughs> All right, onward.